Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching. In this video, I'm going to briefly show you HR Agent Workspace. I was doing a demo the other day for a customer and realized I don't have HR Agent Workspace on my YouTube channel. So here it is. That's it behind me. Um, I'm logged in as Isabel, who's supposed to be an employee relations analyst or specialist. And essentially, when you reach the workspace, this is what you see. Um, she's kind of got an overview of different things, different cases, right? So in HR, we're talking cases. So here she can see all the cases that are assigned to her where the SLA is at risk, where they're high priority, um, or just look at all the cases. And she can scroll through them here um, by clicking on this little button right next to my head so she can see all the different stuff. Now, this is interactive. If she wanted to look at this anonymous report misconduct, she can open it up and it'll open the case within the agent workspace so that she can see the details of that, follow up on something or whatever. Um, while that's loading up, we'll go back home here and I'll just point out behind my head, there's a nice little donut chart here of the cases by request type. So she can see the report requests or anonymous report misconduct or just reporting of misconduct and click on those and go to those as well. But let's head back over to that case and take a look at what she can see. So we've got our case timeline, which in my demo environment is kind of blank at the moment. Um, but this is an anonymous report, so we can see um, what this came in. It's a who, can't see actually who reported it because it is anonymous, um, but it's assigned to Isabel. She's got some uh, a description here of, of a demo for YouTube. It looks like it looks like this is the one where I showed the confidential reporting, but comments and work notes, any HR tasks that are associated with that, SLA, stuff like that. So everything the agent would need to kind of address this particular report. If I scroll down a little bit further on the dashboard there, so there's like a team view. Instead of it just being Isabel's stuff that's assigned to her, there's her team SLAs, her team's high priority, her team's unassigned, her team's open cases. And then right next to my head, there's the cases closed over the last six months um, and a nice little bar chart showing there. If she goes to her list view, she can see all kinds of different HR things. Here we've got cases. Uh, let's just wind this up. Life cycle events, other stuff. So this is kind of like case types for payroll, talent management, rewards cases, stuff like that. Any interactions, um, HR tasks, HR profiles, employee documents, knowledge articles, reminders, all that good stuff. And to wrap this up, uh, I'll show you one other thing. There is a button here to create something. So Isabel, if she needs to um, create an HR case or create an interaction, she can do those things directly there from the uh, HR agent workspace and follow the different things in order to get this. We'll just skip the uh, verify the employee request in this case. Uh, let's see, we'll type in, um, let's see, it's Abraham Lincoln shows up. He's my favorite. And we don't talk about him enough on the channel. There he is, nice little picture of him. And there we've got now his uh, information, any cases he's had open, any uh, he's open for somebody else, any interactions um, they've had. And it looks like there's three interactions um, that are all closed complete. Um, so she can move on to the next thing and start answering the center of excellence, what HR service is related to. Um, it's for Abraham Lincoln. We'll just put demo in there and we'll actually create the case. So a nice little guided case creation where she can kind of see that employee's information um, and stuff like that. And this actually created a direct deposit inquiry. So I hope you found this video helpful for HR Agent Workspace. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.